Hi there, it's Martha and I am back. I am uh, filming multiple videos, hence the same outfit, uh, but I was upstairs cleaning, cleaning, organizing, organizing is a better word, organizing my wax room. You'll see the before in next week's vlog. Uh, it's just, it was like, it was like, you know, but the floor was covered with boxes and stuff. And I have homes for everything. It's just, it just needed to be organized a little bit better or have homes for most things. I'm uh, awaiting a desk and some other stuff. Um, but I wanted to do my fall collection uh, video. So thank you, Natalie from Melt with Nat and Jack. Um, she started this, uh, I guess, a theme for a video for everyone to share what's in their fall collection. I think the point was to, if you pull it all together and see what you have, you're maybe less likely to buy more wax. That's the, that's at least my intention. <laughs> I don't remember if that was Natalie's intention because her video was a while back and I've been meaning to do this, but, um, that's my intention. Although I don't, I don't know if it'll curb any purchasing, but we will see what is kind of funny and what this video is about is just my sensi. So I, I will do this in parts. There'll be multiple parts or this will be a series, I guess. Um, I'm going to start with sensi cause that's what I actually have the least of, I think, um, pretty much. And you know why? Because it all fits in here. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is everything. Um, a minus like four, four cubes over here. Like that's the only thing, uh, that is not in there. So I figured this was already organized in that way. I have this organized like by bakery, fall, winter, spring, summer, like fruity. That's kind of the way I have these um, cases organized. So I will walk you through that and yeah, let's just get started. Okay. I do have the AC on because it is hot. It is hot. So let's, uh, so hopefully you don't hear that um, or it'll shut off pretty soon. But let's just start off with the four that I have here. Um, I have my last bar of almond croissant. This is, this is the last one. Um, I just, this is so good. This is just, it's doughy. I mean, it has that same kind of doughiness of churro churro. And so churro churro does remind me of it. And I think, I don't know, I, you know what? It's in the bakery bin. So I didn't include that in here. Maybe I'll go bring it down. But churro churro does remind me. They're they're related. So if um, you don't have any almond croissant and you did pick up churro churro, I think there's similarities. This, of course, has more like an almond, like an almond paste kind of scent to it. But it, that's almond croissant from Scentsy and this one was discontinued. I picked this up in a flash out last year. Um, then this is another one that is that at least wasn't available in last fall and summer. I picked it up probably in the same bundle as almond croissant. This is butter pecan uh, and this is notes of pumpkin pie filling, yellow cake, pecans, butter and spice. I want to say this is one of Brandy's favorites from um, is it bars and bricks with Brandy or Brandy. We all know Brandy. Um, I'll put her, I'll put everyone's channels that I mentioned in my description box. I'm trying to be much better about that, but yeah, this is a nice buttery scent. I only warm two. So Brandy, this has kind of been set aside for you. So that one is yours, but it is in my collection. And then gingerbread donut is another one. So I think these were from that, uh, bakery bundle I picked up last year. I haven't worn this one at all. Uh, this is just gingerbread donut. And, and Brandy, if you like this one, let me know too. This one I think is okay. This has got a strong gingerbread. I haven't warmed it. It's very strong. I also feel like there's like a maple in there or something. So that's gingerbread donut. And then I have a maple rum cake, maple rum cake. And this is a full bar as well. This was so good. This is one of those bars that on cold doesn't smell like much at all. <laughs> doesn't really smell that great, but when you warm this up, it is, it is a good bar. I'm not even going to bother taking it out. Yeah. I'm not getting a whole lot on cold, but I do remember 
warming multiples of these last um, fall and winter time. Okay, then here I have others. I think the own, yeah, here are just other ones that I have that are kind of in the fall. Well, in the fall is Halloween. So I do have a Halloween time. And this is, um, I should put the notes on these. One. I don't remember. But this is, oh, it's just a nice Halloween scent. I think there's plum or something else in here. I'll have to look it up. Hold on. It bothers me when I can't, when I want to know something and I can't. Okay. Uh, this is cranberry, apple, and spiced cedar wood. It smells good. I could definitely smell. I think I need to get more bars with cedar in it. I'm, I did not get, there was one that was called something cedar and I didn't pick it up last year. I'm hoping it comes back this year because I think I do like that scent. This is a really good one. Um, I'm not going to be putting scent notes like I normally do because this is just a lot of bars. It would take me forever, but I'm looking forward to warming this. I did not warm this at all at Halloween. So let's just move on to keep it in the Halloween family. Um, ghostly greetings. I have two of these. I just picked another one up, um, from the bring back my bar. This has Dansom plum and oh, that's good. It's, it's different. It's good. This has berries, Dansom or sorry, black plum, spiced berry, and bourbon. And I know there's other scents in here, but oh, that's a good one. Uh, the first time I smelled it, I was like, mm, I don't know about this one. The more I smell it, the more I'm like, yes. And definitely I am a season melter. So I think that's part of it too. And why I did club that because I might think, well, maybe right now I'm just like, okay about it. But then come the season when I really want to warm it, I'm going to be like, oh yes, this is perfect. Um, I don't think I have one cause I didn't see it, but I do have it in my club is Jack's obsession, but I don't have one right now but it will come. That's the other Halloween one that I like to warm. And then the um, other one in my club that I used of all was Sanderson sisters. So that's, those are kind of like the Halloween theme ones that I like to warm. Okay. Now we have, this is toasted acorn and oak. This was in last, last fall and winter's catalog. And this is notes of toasted acorn and creamy chestnut roasted over golden oak. This is such a good one. I don't know if this is going to come back. I club this one. Most of my club will probably always be fall and winter. That's just, that's my time of the year. That's when there's more bakery. This is creamy and nutty. And to me, it kind of has like this bakery note. Oh, that is so good. So that's toasted acorn and oak. I love this time, this time of year. Here we have cozy cardigan. And this is notes of soft suede, blushing rose and amber silk. This one's been sweating a little bit. This one is so good. It's cozy and it's been, it's been curing even more. It's definitely stronger, but it's just cozy. The suede is not like animalistic. It's not like van uh, vanilla suede. It's just the soft. It's there. I totally can understand get where that suede is coming from, but the amber is so nice. And the rose, don't be worried about the rose. The rose is, is soft. It's like a, it's, it's just makes it kind of floral. This is so good. So I don't know which one will come back. I have a feeling it's going to be either cozy cardigan or cashmere and corduroy because they're same. They're kind of similar they're similar. They're not the same, but they're related. You know, they're like siblings. Um, I don't know which one I like more. I think I like cozy cardigan just a little bit more than cashmere and corduroy, but I mean, I like them both. They're both in my club. Then we have stargazing and stargazing is star kissed petals, cotton and vanilla clouds. The reason I put this in for fall, because it is a heavier, it's a little denser. So for hot weather, this is not something I would want to warm. This is, um, very kind of dark. It's dark, but I do like it. I think it's similar to fuzzy blanket. It's got that same note in there. Um, got a very similar note, but I do like it. And I'm kind of calling this a fall collection item. 
Oh, then Hemingway. Hemingway is from Bring Back My Bar this past June. This is ripe apples, sandalwood, cedar, and spices. One of my favorites from the Bring Back My Bar. This to me is fall. It is fall. It's got this warmth to it. It's got those ripe apples. Ah, this is so good. And then again, the cedar. So that's why I'm thinking I'm liking cedar more than, more than I thought, more than I knew. Then I have from the Frozen 2 collection, I picked this up during a flash sale and this one is called Autumn. And I don't know the scent notes. I should have it. I have it on my computer over there. So I will come back. <laughs> Okay, so this is apple leaves and forest wood, and it's actually called A Dance of Autumn, not just autumn, but that is um, from the Frozen 2 collection. It's, I get the leaves for sure. That painted leaves. Um, I probably shouldn't be smelling all the wax, right? There's, there's, this should be quick, like here, look what I have, but I like to, oh, two more cozy cardigans, so I, <laughs> I have three. I like that a lot. Um, painted leaves. Just talked about this from Bring Back My Bar. It's, I mean, <laughs> I do like it. It's blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. I like it okay. This is a weird one. It's not going to, I didn't club it. I didn't club it, so I didn't like it that much, but it's, there's something about it. Definitely the crunchy kind of old dead leaves, but also fresh leaves. Uh, there is something a little medicinal about it. So that's the only thing that I, I would just warm one or two cubes at a time. Okay, here I'm going to pull out two cinnamons. So this is cinnamon buttercream. And this one, I, I think I had two bars. I bought two bars because I like cinnamon. I like buttercream. I thought, sure, there's, there's a weird note in here. To me, I remember warming this and it there's something kind of like a foot, <laughs> kind of like a foot. Um, I don't smell it as much now. It definitely came out more when it was warming. So we'll see if it's still there. Um, but that was not a favorite of mine, but I still have one bar of it. And then I picked up cinnamon vanilla. And yes, I know this is in the spring and summer catalog, but to me, this is more like cinnamon is more like mixing this with like a baked apple pie. To me, that's just more, I don't know, it reminds me of apples and stuff. They're fall, right? So cinnamon goes with apples. So I'm probably not going to warm this until like September. Um, so that is cinnamon vanilla. Then vanilla suede. And this is also from Bring Back My Bar. And this is vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and spice. This is kind of manly, kind of cologne -y. I have it in my club right now. I don't know that I'll keep it. I'll have to give this one another try. It's, uh, I kind of like it. So maybe it, this might be axed, <laughs> might be taken out of the club. Um, Plum and White Woods. I just talked about this, talked about this one this past week. It's a raspberry preserves, dansom, plum and vanilla orchid. So this one is just beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, cashmere and corduroy. So here's like the sibling to cozy cardigan. This is vanilla, Sicilian bergamot and cashmere sand sandalwood. Uh, the clams on this is all, already turning. This has already made it yellow. Um, even the, the outside of the bar. It's pretty. I mean, it's, it is different from cozy cardigan. It is different. Oh, it's creamier. It's just, oh, I don't know which one I like more, but it's definitely the vanilla. Now that this has been sitting since this has been, these are both from February. That vanilla on top is coming off really strong. Oh, that is, that is a good one. Uh, cashmere pear. This is also from Bring Back My Bar. And this is you know, this is a good time to put stickers on everything. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't doing anything else today besides I went to yoga, uh, came home, did my video, watched some YouTube, and now I'm upstairs organizing the room. So maybe I'll watch some more YouTube and slap some stickers on this. So this is cashmere pear, and this is notes of baked, uh, sorry, nope, nope. This is cashmere pear. This is notes of white amber, Madagascar vanilla, pear, and red ginger. This one, uh, I 
did club. I've only warmed it once. I kind of put it in there for safekeeping. For me, this is more of a fall scent because I'm getting a lot of ginger. Not everyone gets that much ginger. I'm getting a lot of ginger, but it's really pretty. It is very pretty. It's classy. Mm, it is good. So I do need to give this one another, another warming. Uh, but for me, I just feel like that again, similar to apples, apples and pears. I kind of think of a little bit more for fall. Then from a previous Bring Back My Bar, this is from January's. This is Rum Raisin Cookie. I mean, the scent notes, it's Rum Raisin Cookie. Uh, I have not warmed this since I think January. I, I warmed another bar. And that's, this is rich and yummy. I definitely get that raisin, a rum raisin. This is really, really good. So it's making me, it's making me want to warm this, but it's too hot. It's like too hot. Um, then white, amber, and silk. So, okay. I had another one in here. This was new in, I think it was new in last, in the last fall, fall and, uh, winter catalog. What am I trying to say? And I feel like there's something on my lens. Maybe it's the light, you know, it's probably, uh, it's probably a reflection from the window, uh, white, amber, and silk. This is really more all year round. I've worn this. It's so good. I hope this comes back. I hope this comes back because I feel like this one was a little bit under the radar and people started discovering it more like later in the season. Oh, it's so good. It just reminds me of these like silky clean sheets. Definitely has that amber. Oh, it's delicious. It's not delicious like in bakery, but it's just... It's so good. It is. I love that one. It's so good. Um, okay. Another Hemingway then fearless by nature. I just had this in here. I think this is really all year round. So maybe it's not just fall, but I kind of have it in my fall bin cause it was with the frozen two stuff. Um, and this one is just kind of soapy and clean. What are the notes on this one? All right. So then the notes on this one is fearless by nature is wildflower sage and woods. It's a sage. That's really nice in the wildflowers. This I think is a good transition scent. Really? You can warm this anytime, anytime of the year. But like I said, it was in my bin here with all the other kind of fall and winter uh, items. And uh, sorry, I don't have the scent notes on all of these. I thought I was pretty good about it. I like being prepared, but I'm not always prepared because sometimes I just get a bug up my butt and go, let's, let's just go film a video. Uh, so that's, that's one of these times. All right. So this is the North calls and this has like berries, marine. I think it's Lily of the Valley. It's pretty too. Uh, it did come out in the winter time last year, but this for me is something that could be warmed at any time of the year, but I just, had it in the fall, the fall box. Uh, and this also has grapefruit in it as well. Okay. So that is most of it here. I have a mix of things, um, mix, mix of fall and winter. I'll stay away from the tree notes, but this is cran apple crumble. This was also in the catalog last year. This one, I don't think I could do this one. So if someone likes this one, I don't know. Oh, ooh, that is strong. Wow. That is very, very strong. I, I know my friend, I gave one to my friend. This one for me smelled a little bit like uh, dirt. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but the combination of kind of this cran apple, I don't get a crumble at all. I don't get like any pie or anything. This just smelled like dirt. So let me go, let me go get the notes on this one. I'm going to get a bunch of exercise. All right. So this is crane apple, brown sugar, and whipped cream. What I'm getting is a lot of crane apple and that brown sugar. The brown sugar is coming in pretty strong, but when I warmed it, it smelled a little bit like dirt, like dirt. Uh, fluffy fleece. It's kind of winter. So we're going to stay away from Christmas. Oh, here's one woodland suede. This is also from the bring back my bar in January. One of my favorites, like this was like sleeper hit. Like 
I had no idea, you know, what any of these were when they came back. Cause I just started with Scentsy in like September 29th, it was like the end of September, but this is notes of wooded woodland, red oak, smoky cedar, musk, and winter lemon. And then when this came out in the Bring Back My Bar in January, I'm like, whoa, what is this? This is this. I love this. I love this. This is, I'm getting more woodsy notes than I remember uh, previously, but before it just smelled like a really, uh, like, I always think of this one, like you're in a cabin next to a guy that just smells really good. And there's the trees outside and you can, you can, you can smell the, the, fir, you know, the, like the pine cones and the, the fur, the, the, uh, the fur needles. Uh, so good that that is, that is in my club. Okay. Let's see. Then I think the rest of these are definitely winter. So I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not going to go into those. They're either like tree scents or like swirling snowflakes or something like that. Um, but I do have one last one and this is autumn road trip. So this is harvest apple, pear, and oak. This, this is one that I did not get a chance to try. I think by the time I was like ordering bars. And by the time I ordered this, um, this was later in the season, it was January uh, when I picked this one up and wasn't in the mood for fall at that point. I was all, all about the like snowy tree scents. Uh, so I picked this up cause I've heard a lot of people like it and I thought I'll put it in my club just in case, uh, it doesn't come back and I'll warm this probably like in September or so. So I hope I like it cause it's in my club. <laughs> but that is autumn road trip. Okay. So that, that is all the sensi I have. It's not a lot. Um, hopefully this isn't too long and, uh, I will put it all away and then I'm excited for fall, but I'm not ready to warm any fall scents. Um, uh, but I, I'm excited because now it's starting to get hot. It was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's now in the upper eighties, nineties, uh, which is, I like 85 or below 75 is my sweet spot. Man, if it's 75, that is like, don't need a sweater. I can have shorts on. I'm not like sweating. Ah, oh, it's just perfect. So what's your favorite temperature? I'd love to know what is your, what is your favorite season and what is like your ideal temperature? Like that is your sweet spot. It feels good. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and enjoying this. Um, who knows? I may film one more video today or not, but I'm enjoying kind of going through and organizing my wax and just smelling everything all over again. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's definitely fun to do. So thanks for hanging out with me. And if you enjoyed this, consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.